the latest in video game to film or TV adaptations because a bunch of bunch of little news articles popped up in the last week. So uh, let's start on the low end here. Apparently, um, they're gonna they're gonna reboot. Oh my gosh! They're gonna reboot the Resident Evil franchise, which I say yes. Please do <laughs> yes. <laughs> just just stop, basically. And I was my initial reaction, and Ryan, you quick, quickly corrected me. Not only are they rebooting it, they're like, we're going to reboot it. We're going to make six more. Like, that's, six, yeah, that's six, ambi- six more. That's ambitious. <laughs> it that's is. Dumb. There's already like that many. Uh, the good news to me was Paul W.S. Anderson is not involved, so creatively it should be somewhat different. But then, Ryan, you did correct me in that it's the same studio that's producing them. Same studio. So I don't yeah. know if they've learned their lessons, but... Hey, he's up for six more Resident Evil movies. I don't even know what Resident Evil is just, anymore. <laughs> I just don't even understand. Like, like I feel like this is the Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out in the fall of this year announcement. Like, they'll have to make three successful movies <laughs> before they're going to get the money to do the last to three. The, yeah, the remainder. Like, like, you don't just come out and like, yeah, sure, we're going to do six more movies. Don't worry about the fact that like the last Resident well, Evil movie was like a direct to DVD basically because nobody went to see it. Let me pitch something to you. Okay. Resident Evil found footage film. Super cheap. They make all the money. It'll be fine. It'll fund the whole rest of the series. <laughs> sounds, Blair Witch. <laughs> sounds sounds not good. Um also announced uh today, Monday. <laughs> yeah, we're screwing up all the timelines. Um hey, right. hey. <laughs> The Uncharted movie is apparently still uh, a thing at Sony. It's a thing. <laughs> but uh, let's let's walk, let's walk through this because I think it's this is an important fact for how you share news articles with your friends. Because <laughs> I got a headline <laughs> that is it Tom Holland is that his name? Is it Tom? Tom? Yeah, Tom Holland. Tommy. Yep. Tommy Boy. Who, who everyone knows is your favorite friendly neighborhood Spider Man uh, or Will? Awesome or, or Will? Awesome yes. Peter Parker. No, yes. we do. Yeah. He was in Civil War. <laughs> yeah, he was in Civil War. Um, no, I was just I was hot. I was trying to I was trying to I was trying to promote Homecoming as well as that I'm excited for that as well. Uh, yeah. But anyway, I am. so they announced that he's going to be Nathan Drake, and that was basically the headline that was shared with me: is <laughs> Tom Holland is Nathan Drake in the new Uncharted movie. And I'm like, what? The? My 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 mind just melted. I was just like, this does not, none of this adds up. And so I went on all these tangents. Then I find a headline that actually informs me of what they mean, which is its own bad decisions, but at least makes sense. Tom Holland <laughs> is playing young Nathan Drake. Young Nathan Drake. In an, yeah. in an Uncharted <laughs> prequel, keep in mind that there's no movie cult, there's no Uncharted <laughs> movie to no- prequel yet. Um, yeah, th- apparently they're spinning off the, the, the scene of young Nathan Drake from Uncharted 3. Not, you know, not the you know, the really in-depth stuff from Uncharted 4. Yeah. They'll go with the Uncharted 3 young Nathan Drake to kind of kickstart this franchise. And I was like, on its surface level, Tom Holland, young Nathan Drake, okay. Every other decision related to this, mm, I don't know what you're doing, Sonny. It's just so weird to me that they want to establish what could be a really strong yeah. movie franchise by not introducing you to the full-fledged character that is Nathan Drake, but instead showing his... Or- like, like that's like you start off Indiana Jones with young Indiana Jones. Like, nobody <laughs> wants that crap right off the bat. Uh, like, yeah. Yeah, maybe after I really love that character, am I willing to go and see, like, what was he like when he was really young and not, you know, who I love, but... To, to launch the franchise that way is so odd. Yeah. I don't understand that decision at all. It should have been what I thought it was, which is just that Tom Holland is a flashback of Nathan Drake. Yeah, but the movie right. itself is what we want Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake. Yeah. But to, yeah, to call it a prequel, there are no Uncharted movies. Uh, I, I get that you could maybe say prequel because <laughs> if you played all the games, it is going yeah. back in time. But I, I don't... I, don't want this. I, I get, want. I want now the Nathan Drake that we know and love. I do. I do think that Sony likes Tom Holland. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, oh, they, and they I, love him. And actually, if they do move forward to this, that is not the pivotal casting point. The pivotal casting point is Sully. Who do you have play <laughs> Sully to like to help young Nathan Drake? So 
that'll be the pivotal, pivotal casting moment for me. And the last of the video game to TV news uh, is The Witcher has been optioned and is going for mm. with a Netflix. Ooh, I know. What? I'm sorry, Your Honor. I can test this. <laughs> This has nothing to do with video games. Because <laughs> this is not, this is not the Witcher video game going to TV. This is the Witcher books. It's the book. I know. <laughs> going to TV. And the video game studio has nothing to do with this at all. CD I would like to Project. present my, ca- I would like to present my counter argument, argument in that <laughs> this TV series would not happen without the video game yeah, series. Who would know the Witcher? I'm sorry. Here? <laughs> not if you talk to the author. Have well, you he's heard a, what he's been saying? Well, he's he is a, nuts. He like ripped the games. And then had that whole yeah, like, but you well, know I should have asked for more money moment after yeah exactly. after Witcher three, and of yeah, co- once once we all found out he doesn't make a dime off of the Witcher games, yeah. I was like, well, that's your problem, buddy. Uh, but this could be cool, uh, and I like that it's with Netflix. I've you know it's got to land with Netflix or HBO uh, pretty much at this point uh, to pull that off. But I'll be curious, uh, you know how? I guess it's a it's kind of a special effects house that picked it up. So how C- okay. yeah. like how CG focused it is? Like is it live action yeah. with CG monsters or is it a whole CG show? So that stuff kind of remains uh to be determined. <laughs> can you um, Yeah, can, I mean like what would you I I would hope that it's live action. Yeah. Like I would hope yeah, that me too. it's the Witcher very much Game of Thrones style yeah. Yeah. kind of show. That was my thought. Um like an all CG show, I don't know. Right. I don't know if I would be as into that, but I don't know. We'll see. I I am with you though. I think Netflix picking it up is cool. Um, they're doing some good stuff, and well, they tend to give more freedom. Yeah. To to these kind of productions, which is cool. Um, but yeah. And I like I want that Gerald voice. Yeah, I like an episodic approach to it too. I can have some monster of the week stuff uh, as well as a, yeah. an ongoing story there. So. Um, yeah, and I, and I'm not ripping the books. I'm sure the the books are you know I you know they're well respected in the fantasy community. But it's yeah, this show does not happen without the games. So especially in North America, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. 